Next will be the last report and introduction by Ambassador Nian Ko Khan, Asia Europe Foundation. Your Excellency, Kun Kosak Saiba Sabo, Deputy Prime Minister of Thailand, Kun Jurin Laksa Navisit, Minister of Education, Kun Fai Tun, Kelsau, Minister of Labor, Distinguished Partners, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen. It gave me great honor and privilege to have the opportunity to come back again to Thailand and to attend this very important ASEM conference on e-learning, workplace learning, two of the most important dimensions of lifelong learning in the globalized and technological driven world. The fact that we are in the presence of their excellencies, the Deputy Prime Minister, as well as the Minister of Education and Minister of Labor of Thailand, attest to the growing global significance of lifelong learning. Excellencies and dear participants, the Asia Europe Foundation was created in 1997 a year after the first ASEAN Leaders Summit held in Bangkok in 1996 to enhance the mutual understanding between the people in Asia and Europe. Thailand, during the past 12 years, has played a very active role in our work. From its early years, it has identified education cooperation as the key element to fulfill its mission and has become the driving force and the secretary behind the ASEAN Education Hub of or EAEH founded in 1898. The ASEAN Education Hub is an umbrella framework that organizes and coordinates various education cooperation initiatives of higher education especially the ASEAN Education Hub Advisory Committee, the ASEAN Rectors Conference, the Asia-Europe Thematic Networks, and the new platform of Asia-Europe Education Workshops. Complementing the ASEAN Education Hub are initiatives such as the Asia-Europe Classroom Network and ASEAN University the non-formal education activities of these, the Asia-Europe thematic networks provide the avenue for exchanges on topical areas such as lifelong learning, peace and conflict studies, regionalism, human security, and intellectual poverty. ASEP supports the lifelong learning initiative as a major priority and has been wrapped up since the ASEAN Education and Research Hub for Lifelong Learning was launched in May 2005. The Lifelong Learning Hub has undertaken important research in the field of lifelong learning, including the role of continuing vocational and workplace learning, the attractiveness of new learning approaches such as the use of information and communication technology, competencies of teachers and trainers in lifelong learning, and support mechanism and framework for lifelong learning system in Asia and Europe. These findings have fed concretely into the dimension of educational planners and decision makers in both two continents. The second conference of ministers of education here in Hanoi in May recently endorsed lifelong learning hub detail proposal. And ASEP has backed this initiative and has in fact renewed its support to the hub with the second memorandum of understanding for the year 2011, uh, 2011 and 2020. 13. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Lifelong Learning Initiative 
has successfully gathered government representatives, researchers from universities of 24 ASEM countries to its activities. And we hope that more and more uh, representatives from uh, ASEM countries would participate. I believe that there are two key factors behind the success. Number one, the ASEM Lifelong Learning Hub has benefited from the stable framework, including financial support that it has allowed it to develop solid structures and governance, as well as culture of cooperation among people and institutional involved. Here I should mention that the hub enjoy political and financial support not only from the ASEF, but also from the Danish government, coupled with the full dedication of Danish School of Education as coordinator. Second, the Lifelong Learning Hub links higher education professionals, researchers, scholars, university managers, and political decision makers. This strategic alliance assures that activities of the hub reflects current policy issues and priorities, and that they come out and their outcomes are put into action in improving lifelong learning systems and structures in ASEAN countries. In conclusion, in conclusion Excellency and ladies and gentlemen, allow me to stress that the education shapes the future of our societies. Lifelong learning has become an integral part of the broader educational process, reflecting the dynamic work environment that we face. More broadly, the hub to with its sound and experience-based inputs to ASEAN policy discussions has contributed to enhancing cooperation between Asia and Europe in very practical and value-added way. ASEM, ASEP, we continue to support the work of the Lifelong Learning Hub. And I am confident that today's conference will be an impressive demonstration of just how far the Lifelong Learning Hub has progressed. Excellencies and dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before uh, concluding, I would like to join my previous colleagues to thank the government of Thailand and uh, your excellencies, Deputy Prime Minister and Ministers, for spending your special time with our meetings and support our uh, work here. And uh, I also would like to wish all our participants very productive meetings and enjoyable days in the land of smiles. Kapunta. <laughs>